We don't know what happened before or after uh, we see this video, but let's watch it one more time. So there it is. And again, you'll hear her account in just a moment. Officer Ruben De Los Santos, he's the officer involved in this. He's on paid administrative leave. He's been with the school as a resource officer for almost four years, was wearing a body camera. So we do not know if it was recording or not, or if and when that video will be released. So that's that front. I mentioned the young girl, 15 years old. What is her account of what happened? Here she is. I was just sitting down on the other side of the um cafeteria and then I see a big altercation and I'm I run so fast and then I see my sister fighting and then I see them both on the ground and I'm trying to get my sister and then people are like pulling me off and I'm like you guys need to get off of me because I'm trying to help my sister and then that's when officer Santos came and he picked me up and then slammed me slammed me on the ground and I was out for a bit and then that's when I got up he got up and then we went to his office all right, so there you hear it again, and you see here it's Rollsville High School. That's just northeast of Raleigh. Uh, the school's looking into it. Here is their statement saying, and this is from the principal of the high school, I, like many of you, am deeply concerned about what I saw in the video. The safety of our students is always our first priority. So that is from the principal, Rollsville Police Department, looking into this as well. Here is their statement saying, we will work diligently to review any and all pertinent information so that we provide an accurate account of the events. And this police department is asking the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation to conduct a third-party review as well, Robin. So a lot of entities looking into this, 